This is Saurabh, and you're listening to my favorite talk show, The VG Show with Aditya. The countdown to 300 episodes of India's most beloved talk show begins tonight in what has been an historic 2020. As we come to the end of 2020, which has been marred by nothing more than pessimism and negativity, with the word pessimism taking over anything due to external factors and the world accepting the fact that there is pessimism, that everybody is sad and lonely and what not. For me, the year has been about counting milestone of the back of my hands starting with the 150th episode on the 1st of january then we moved on to the 175th episode the 200th episode so on and so forth and an unbroken record of 140 episodes completed since then without a break despite all the external factors giving the indication to do otherwise but that can be talked about later recap the historic episodes first january 150th episode 28th february 175 episodes 27th april 200 episodes 26th june 225 episodes, 19th August, 250 episodes, and the more recent one, 19th October, 275 episodes. Just over five weeks left for the completion of 2020. While for the rest, the question will be, what will 2021 bring for us? For me, it will be the continuation of the legacy of this talk show. We all are enamored and waiting for the mystery that the next 38 days will bring and the remaining 365 days of 2021. This year saw six very special guests being interviewed and 2021 will see more special guests being brought into the fold of India's most beloved sports and entertainment talk show just don't reach to the cusp of 300 episodes without going through the hoops and a note for all the listeners this friday there will be no regular episode instead it will be a special episode but what will friday bring well i don't know yet but there will be no regular episode this coming Friday, that is 27th of November 2020. In a world where anything goes, where the definition of what is being at the head of the table changes day by day, minute by minute, if the Indian team headed to Australia will be looking to repeat their historic 2018-2019 2 1 win as far as the test tournament is concerned. Most experts have postulated by not saying much that the absence of a few players and the presence of a few players in the opposing team may make it difficult for the Indian team to repeat their historic 2 1 win in 2018. 2019. We do not know that yet. Mind games are already being played because certain players will not be part of the entire tournament. They will be headed home because of personal reasons and so the mind games have been started that because of the absence of a certain individual the other team take advantage of this perceived weakness and pounce on the team. The coach of the team created a perceived controversy when the coach said that the 2-1 win over the Australian team in 2018-2019 was bigger than the 83 World Cup 
when and did not sit well with a few players because of the emotions and the romance of the 70s and the 80s which have created a narrative that the 60s 70s 80s were the best because of the so called simplified era that's not an all out statement that is subjective that one era was better than the other sport is one of those professions where as an individual or as a nation we cannot let go of a few individuals who played decades ago because when they still come out and are inactive as far as playing the sport is concerned but because they can speak a few words they are taken to be gospel well the 2018 2019 group did what the teams before could not do the closest that came to creating history was the team in 2003 2004 but it did not have a strong bowling attack the 1 and 7 and 8 were in all kinds of controversial situations the one in 11 was attacked unlucky the one in 14 was rebuilding and finally after the efforts of the teams in 11 and 14 the one in 18 finally came to a head that yes they can do something which has never been done before and they did something which most teams haven't done before whether the feat of 2018 2019 can still be repeated is a matter of debate the fact that this clock show is the best of the best is no matter of debate and when you reach this close to 300 episodes without a break without taking any kind of back step you have proven that you are the best talk show on the planet in the universe no talk show can ever claim to be better than this talk show because of all that this talk show has achieved over the past 30 months so get up and get ready as we start to create history as the 300 episode comes close to history is achieved as not many talk shows have completed 300 talk shows in their rain over the past 6 years the term fake news has taken over but what is fake news well let me tell you there is no term such as fake news it's all about the presentation of certain facts and figures and in a world where majority works if 9 out of 10 people feel that this facts and figures are wrong that is automatically put in the fake news column but was there fake news before the advent of technology well fake news or misinformation per se has existed as far as humanity is concerned for centuries there is no knowing when the concept of fake news started just like the pseudo concern for climate change or the superficial concern of climate change started 5 years ago when climate change has been affecting humanity for millennia similarly this topic and discussion around fake news only started 5 or 6 years ago when fake news has been a part of the human psyche for so long that it's difficult to decipher when did it first start be it in mythology stories folk tales some form of misinformation misdirect fake news has existed but if a certain group feels that certain stories are true we will take it to be true and when the same group says that other stories are not true then we perceive it to be fake news well, the print and electronic media already existed and for a while we believed what was on these platforms what was being displayed discussed and presented on these platform without too much about 
facts and figures the moment pseudo media or digital media came into effect and the moment anybody armed with a mobile phone and an account on one of these platforms could say anything the definition of what is real what is fake what is facts what is figures what is inaccurate what is accurate completely changed and human minds as malleable and gullible they are they were before but humans never got a platform to exploit this gullibility and malleability but the moment the pseudo media came into effect was a complete turnaround now the fact is that if two individuals argue on these platforms which ideally should be ignored we start taking them seriously but it's not the two individuals who argue it's their psycho fans their fans who argue strange thing is that as much as we love these platforms for changing the definition of how individuals interact with each other how it has made things more easy and more streamlined for two individuals who have never met or who have never met in decades to interact on the other hand we also accuse these platforms of spreading misinformation but who spreads misinformation where does the misinformation come from so if x spreads a piece of news whether it's right or wrong that is subject to interpretation it's y or z who forward or send such news or tweets or posts or whatever forward so if you don't send certain facts or information which you feel you don't need to verify it but if you feel if there is an instinct that this information does not seem right you don't send it forward you are on one of these platform it doesn't mean that you have to say something you can be quiet you don't necessarily have to say something you can just ignore situations if you see two individuals arguing or x saying something to y do you really need to butt in can you just let it go can you see it as a form of entertainment because you cannot by any stretch of imagination take anything said on these platforms or as whether they are publishers or platforms or mainstream or whatever form of news or informative source they are you cannot take them seriously if you know that the information provided is inaccurate whether these platforms or publishers are good or bad whether they allow individuals to say something that is good bad ugly or whether they provide information that is accurate inaccurate fake real whatever be the nomenclature it all depends on the person if you don't allow yourself to be influenced by such things then things won't escalate but individuals want things to escalate so if x says something against another group whatever the group may be one member of that group has to react and then it begins a full scale conversation on such platform it goes into all kinds of parade and what not but if x has said something or written something and if another group doesn't react then x will say well i tried they didn't bite and i can move on but x says something why bites on that then begins a full scale battle or whatever the pseudo battle that ensues on such platforms and and it becomes a long standing debate of how such platforms should work well such platform exists but it doesn't mean that you have to be on these platforms just because these platforms are free and these platforms encourage a few things discourage a few things encourage a few groups who are discouraged because the groups which are discouraged feel that they are not given the opportunity well you don't need these platforms to show your skill or whatever you want to show and if you don't get the platform it doesn't mean that people ignore you if people know that a certain group exists then you don't need such platforms 
to put yourself on the map. It's all about publicity. Well, if you want publicity, you will do anything. And all publicity is good publicity. By default and design, humans create this halo around certain eras that the 70s, 80s, 90s, up to some extent the 2000s were simple eras. There was no complication. There was a simplicity of a non-internet or an internet which had not exploded that everybody had the use of their dumb smartphones. And now things have changed because everybody is armed with a dumb smartphone and they can say anything they want on these platforms. Well, that is totally hogwash. Even if people did not have access to the broadband internet 30, 40 years ago, there are always ways to spread misinformation. It doesn't mean that misinformation is correct or wrong. But the idea of fake news has always existed, just like a superficial concern for climate change has emerged over the past half a decade. Similarly, a superficial term fake news has emerged over the past five years. It was there before. Is there any proof? No. But is there any proof that fake news exists? No, but because, as I said, fake news is what? majority doesn't like. If a majority says that these facts and figures are incorrect, if 95 out of 100 people say that such information is wrong, it denigrates a certain group, we tend to believe it because believe it or not, majority has an influence over how things work. Tonight's song just adds to the many money-themed songs that have been a part of this talk show, which makes it clear that it's all about money. Whether it's philanthropy or anything else, it's always been about the crucial factor for human beings, money. Kisi ka chutta, kisi ki daulat, kisi ka love, kisi ki mohabbat. sound he meter down, 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 down. He meter down, 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 down. Nia hai apne dam pe ruki hai naram to khara hai gaza kham. Tera lost kisi aur ke found. He meter down, 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 down. He meter down, 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 down. Kisi ka chutta, kisi ki daulat, kisi ka love, kisi ki mohabbat. यहाँ पे ज़िंदगी खुशी रुपया है डॉलर या है पाउंड हे मीटर डाउन 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 हे मीटर डाउन 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 अगाता क्रिस्टी लेबर्स ऑफ हर्कुलीज चैप्टर वन हर्क्यूल पॉरोट नॉडेड यस आई नो he looked at the women on the sofa. Your sister, I think, Miss Carnaby said mechanically, Yes, Emily, this, this is Mr. Poirot. Emily Carnaby gave a gasp. She said, Oh, Amy Carnaby said, Augustus. The Pekingese looked towards her. His tail moved. Then he resumed his scrutiny of Poirot's hand. Again, his tail moved faintly. Gently, Poirot picked the little dog up and sat down with Augustus on his knee. He said, So, I have captured the Nemean lion. My task is completed. Amy Carnaby said in a hard, dry voice, Do you really know everything? Poirot nodded. I think so. You organize this business with Augustus to help you. 
You took your employer's dog out for his usual walk, brought him here and went on to the park with Augustus. The park keeper saw you with a Pekingese as usual. The nurse girl, if he ever found her, would have also agreed that you had a Pekingese with you when you spoke to her. Then while you were talking, you cut the lead and Augustus, trained by you, slipped off at once and made a beeline back home. A few minutes later, you gave the alarm that the dog had been stolen. There was a pause that Miss Carnaby drew herself up with a certain pathetic dignity. She said, Yes, it's all quite true. I, I had nothing to say. The invalid woman on the sofa began to cry softly. Pollock said, Nothing at all, mademoiselle. Miss Carnaby said, Nothing. I have been a thief and now I am found out. Pollock murmured, you have nothing to say in your own defense? A spot of red showed suddenly in Amy Carnaby's white cheeks. She said, I, I don't regret what I did. I think you are a kind man, Mr. Poirot, and that possibly you might understand. You see, I have been so terribly afraid. Afraid? Yes, it's difficult for a gentleman to understand, I expect. But you see, I am not a clever woman at all and I have no training and I am getting older and I am so terrified for the future. I have not been able to save anything. How could I with Emily to be cared for? And as I get older and more incompetent, there won't be anyone who wants me. They'll want somebody young and brisk. I, I have known so many people like I am. Nobody wants you and you live in one room and you can't have a fire or any warmth and not very much to eat. And at last you can't even pay the rent of your room. There are institutions, of course, but it's not very easy to get into them unless you have influential friends. And I haven't. There are a good many others situated like I am, poor companions, untrained, useless women with nothing to look forward to but a deadly fear. G. Woodhouse Stiff Upper Lip Jeeves Chapter 18 Continuing to pierce me with the eye that was still on duty, he said, I happened to be passing through the hall just now. Oh, I heard you talking on the phone. Oh, you were speaking to your aunt. Oh, don't keep saying oh, blast you. Well, these descriptions were making it a bit hard for me to hold up my end of the conversation, but there seemed nothing to be done about it. I maintained a rather dignified silence and he resumed his remarks. Your aunt was urging you to steal Sir Watkins' amber statuette? She wasn't. Pardon me, I thought you would try to deny the charge, so I took the precaution of jotting down your actual words. The statuette was mentioned and you said, it's going to be pretty hard to get away with it. She then presumably urged you to spare no effort for you said, well, I'll do my best. I know how much Uncle Tom covets that statuette. Rely on me, Aunt Dahelia. What the devil are you gargling about? Not gargling, I corrected, laughing lightly, because you've got the whole thing wrong. Though I must say the way you managed to record the dialogue does you good deal of credit. Do you use shorthand? How do you mean I got it wrong? Aunt Dahelia was asking me to try to buy the thing from Sir Watkin. He snorted and said, ha! And I thought it a bit unjust that 
he should say ha if i wasn't allowed to say a and o there should always be a certain give and take in these matters or where are you do you expect me to believe that don't you believe it no i don't i am not an ass this of course was a debatable point as i once heard jeeves describe it but i didn't press it i know that aunt of yours he proceeded she would steal the filling out of your back teeth if she thought she could do it without detection he paused for a moment and i knew that he was thinking of the cow creamer he had always and i must admit not without reason suspected the old flesh and blood of being the motive force behind its disappearance and i imagine it had been a nasty knock to him that nothing could be proved well i strongly advise you booster not to let her make a cat's paw of you this time because if you are caught as you certainly will be you will be for it don't think that sir watkin will hush the thing up to avoid a scandal you'll go to prison that's where you'll go he dislikes you intensely and nothing would please him more than to be able to give you a long stretch without the option for more awesome content tune in to the next episode of the weekly show with aditya for more awesome content tune in to the next episode of the weekly show with aditya